hello so today's video is about directly printing text on taking tab on to hard copy so first of all let's import things we need to create this so we import taking tab as usual so from taking tab let's import everything using the asterisk then we import os as well the other thing we import temp file temp file then we also import scroll text so from ticking tab import scroll scroll test as so let's say st short form st so import scroll test as st so first let's assign our root to tk then let's give our window a size so root dot geometry So let's give it a size of let's say 800. Okay, 800 by 550. Okay, we need some quotes around it. So we can print it. So we are going to launch it using the main loop. Okay, so our window is ready now so now let's put the things you want to put on it so first let's create a text area test area so st the st so from here we imported scroll text as st so that's the when you see st in it that's what it stands for it stands for scroll test so st dot Scrolled test. Scroll test. So we are putting it on our root. Then we'll give it a width of 50. Then a height of 20. So let's launch it now. So test area dot place. So we'll give it an x value of 50 and a y value of 50 as well. So finally, let's create a button as well. So this button allows us to print. So let's say print button. So let's say button so we'll put it on our root and we'll give it a test print so let's place it on the window as well so print button dot place So x should be probably 200. Give it a y value of 390. So let me launch this and see what we have. So this is our window now. So this is our text area, our scroll text area, and this is our button we created. So the reason why we imported this scroll text area, we can, we can use a normal text area to still work. But this scroll test area comes with a scroll button default. So let me type something random thing.
so let's try and paste something inside and see if the screw work so you can see now the moment you have a whole lot of text inside the screw started working so that is the screwed test that you imported so the screw test imported so now let's create a function for the print which will allow us to print our value so let's define our function so let's name it print command so let's give it a value of text so let's see our print item which is in which like the item we want to print so we are giving it we are assigning it as print item so the temp file which we imported dot so make temp make them which is the mk temp so make a temp with the format dot tst so this means you want to make a temp in the form dot tst we know tst is the form of text item so we have a open so we are opening the print item we created here so here we created a print item as the tst form so we are going to open it here so this is a w lowercase w dot right the tst which we created now then we are going to print it using the OS. So OS start file. So our print item, then print. Okay. So now let's call this command inside our print button here so down inside our print button let's call it so we say command lambda then our print command so inside our print command we are going to call our test area which we created here so our test area dot get so it will get the value any value type inside a test area so it will get 1.0 the end or in upper case so let's launch it now and see so let me just type something so i say my name my name is videos okay so we have an error okay get test Okay, sorry, this should be get not get test. <coughs> should be get. So I think that is an error. So let's launch it again. So let's type again. So my name is Gideon's. Okay, so right now because I have no printer is asking me to save my file in the form of pdf if you look at this window here now printing so the name of our print file is tmp62.txt so 
if you have if you are familiar with printer you know this like whenever you want to print items so for example if you are printing three pages it shows the number of pages you are going to print so right now because i'm not con if i were to be connected to a printer instead of popping up a file for me to create a pdf it will go to the printing direct but because i'm, ha I'm not having a printer it's asking me to save as pdf file so let's let me save it as can i say print one into one file so let me save that print one file so let me go back to let me go to my desktop so this is the file i just saved print one dot pdf so you can see the test we just paste inside so this is my name is Gideon's. so you don't there are so many ways you don't necessarily also have to like type inside the test area before you can also insert test and files inside maybe you want to insert things from your label things from maybe a particular place on inside it you can insert any test you want as well so for example maybe let's insert something instead of typing inside the text file directly before you print you can insert it so let's say name let's say you want to insert maybe a value so let's say Okay, so let's give you some break. Okay, let me give you some break, cut it down as well. There's some space. Let's say have some line. So we need fifty of this. So what I'm just doing, I'm just trying to create some text so we can insert it inside the text area. We don't have don't want to every time I have to type inside the text area before you print. So Okay, so let's insert this. So let's say text area dot insert. So insert name. So let's print this. So you can you see it inserted this text inside. I didn't have to type this. So maybe you want to insert maybe something from a particular data from a table inside this. So maybe you, you fill a table or you want to automatically insert the table data into this. You don't want to come and create another table inside the test area and print it. So this is another way of doing it. So let's print this. Okay, let's name it print two. So let's go back to our desktop. So we have our print two fire. So you see, we have please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So this is what we just created right now. So this is it for today's video how to print directly onto hard copy so if i were to be connected to a printer it would 
directly print this onto a hard copy from the printer for us so if you get printer maybe you can try this later soon so thank you for watching today's video if you like this video just give me a thumbs up to know that you guys like my videos so that i can get more motivation to do more video for you guys thank you and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video